Hello dear friends. I received several requests from our subscribers regarding particular advices for the seafarers. Thus I decided to dedicate our today's meeting to the taking over the ship in view of Ballast Water Management Convention. I'd like to remind you, follow our YouTube channel and ask your questions and comments and I will try to answer you as soon as possible. So, my suggestions for taking over the ship. Check if International Ballast Water Management Certificate is available on board first. If it is absent, check if any other certificate, letter of compliance or other document is present on board. It may help while passing inspection. If ballast water management certificate is present, pay attention which method of ballast water management to be used on board. Check ship's ballast water management plan. It should be authorized by flag or recognized organization. Classification society, for example. Learn ballast water management plan. Paying attention to the exemptions granted. If the ships have to comply with D1 standard only, pay special attention to stability booklet. Also, Learn which method of exchange recommended for using, taking into account limitations of this method. Learn ship's ballast water system, paying special attention to weak points like air pipes, for example. Learn records in the ballast water record book. Compared to the ship's log records, pay attention if ballast is on board, where it is taken, where to be discharged, etc. If you see these signs of poor record keeping, Take measures immediately, brief your staff, keeping in mind that proper record keeping can save a lot of time and avoid many problems during inspection. If the ship is under D2 standard, check the type of equipment installed. If equipment still not installed, check the deadline for installation, where it is planned to install and any available documents on this matter. Check if type approval certificate is available. In case of active substances used, EIMO certificate as well. It is not necessary to have original on board, but you should have copy at least. Check if manufacturer's instructions and manuals are available. Check if the key persons are familiar with ballast water management procedures. Better to check knowledge of all crew engaged in ballast water operations. But the most important, appointed officer of course. Pay attention to safety considerations first of all especially if your treatment equipment use active substances. Pay special attention to emergency procedures. Tra check training plans. Try to obtain sampling results in order to check actual performance of your equipment. If you already have treatment equipment on board, of course. Check with local agent in the next port of call the requirements. Could be the specific requirements for ballast water exchange, like special areas of exchange and to ballast water treatment as well, like prohibition of use of some particular active substances. Check if the ship had any deficiencies in ballast water management matters in the past. If so, check which actions were taken and their results. And don't forget about Radka International. See details at the bottom of your screen and you may use my contacts as well. Radka International will propose you the best equipment, quick installation and very reasonable prices if you will mention promo code WHALE. This is really best solution for existing ships. That's enough for today. I wish you safe navigation if you are a seafarer and this is a day for all others. Follow our YouTube channel, ask your questions and comments and I will try to answer you as soon as possible. Special thanks to the Whale Software Trademark for the opportunity to make this presentation. Whale Software, the best software solutions for the crewing companies and many departments of the shipping companies.